If somebody was to ask me what it is I believe my mission here on God, Family, and Guns is from God, it's to unite the remnant. It's to unite those men and women who are looking around and they don't see a lot of people like them. They see a lot of people that call themselves Christians, but they're not really Christians, meaning they say the right things, but they are not doing anything to advance the kingdom of God, nor are they really doing anything for anybody other than themselves. And there has always been a remnant on this earth. Always. There's always been a remnant. Uh, men and women who will stand up for the things of God uh, when no one else will. Examples of that were the Israelites that built the wall where some would literally fight with one hand while they would build with the other. Others were those that built the temple after the Israelites were sent off into exile. There's always a remnant. And the Bible tells us that we are scattered, meaning if you live in a town of 5,000 people and you look around, there's not a lot of people like you. Uh, if you go to church with 500 people, there's maybe one or two that really get it, that really get it. Everybody else, they say the right thing, but there's no actions. There's no act. I don't know how many churches I've been through where they preach through the book of Acts, but nobody actually does any acts. And the Bible also tells us that in the end times, God will unite the remnant. And I believe that's what I'm doing is helping unite the remnant those men and women that feel scattered. So I've traveled around this country, and then for the last several months, we've had a first Saturday meeting in Centerview, Missouri. And that'll continue every single month. But what God has called me and others to do is to go to Montana, because years ago, I went to Montana and met with a group of people that referred to themselves as the remnant. Well, now we're going there to set up ministry and have a regular meeting there every first Saturday of every month, as well as conduct ministry. We're not there to start a church. We're not there to just give speeches or put on the Sunday show. We're there to literally be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. And if you were to say, well, what is the business of Jesus Christ? Well, he makes it very clear very clear in Matthew 24 and 25, when he's literally talking about the end times, he says, those who feed the hungry, clothe the naked, take care of the widows, the orphans, visit the prisoners and the sick, will go off into everlasting life, while those who don't will go off into everlasting punishment, and even those who go off into everlasting punishment. And what the Bible refers to as the separation of the sheep and the goats, They'll say, but Jesus, wait a second. We knew you, like we worshiped you. Why are we the goats? Why are we going off in everlasting punishment? He'll say, well, when you didn't do it to the least of these, you didn't do it to me. And I'm not preaching salvation through works. What I'm preaching is if your relationship with Jesus is real and you are really filled with the Holy Spirit, well, you're naturally going to do those things. So if you're not producing any fruit, you have to question whether the Spirit lies within so we're going out there to produce fruit, not just go there and have a monthly meeting, but to go there and feed the hungry, clothe the naked, take care of the widows, orphans, visit the prisoners and the sick, and to set up a ministry like here in Missouri. You know, here in Missouri, you know, through standing in the gap, they're in the prisons. Their, their goal is to be in the prisons 365 days a year, and they're almost there. While they house and take care of ex-cons coming out of prison, while they feed hungry people and delivering two weeks worth of groceries to anybody that's hungry in that county. That's what we're going to be doing in Billings, Montana. So we will be there the first Saturday of September, September 2nd at North Park in Billings, Montana. There's a gazebo there. We're going to be there. Uh, meanwhile, we will also be having our Missouri meeting that exact same day at the exact same time, six o'clock central time, five o'clock mountain. So again, Billings, Montana. And if you want to go and meet us in Billings, Montana, I recommend you don't go. If you feel called by God to go there, when you pray and the spirit says, I want you to go to Billings, Montana, I highly recommend you go because he's doing that to men and women. He's calling out men and women right now. They're reaching out to me and letting me know that he is calling out to them. So there you go. This is a critical ministry to unite the remnant. And if you feel called to be a part of that, uh, you know, again, we'll be in Missouri and Centerview, Missouri. 
at six o'clock on September 2nd or in Billings, Montana at five o'clock. I will personally be in Billings for that meeting, uh, but the rest of the remnant that has been meeting regularly in Missouri, they will meet. Um, so there you go. If you have any interest in either one of those meetings, because the spirit has called you to do so, message us below. Otherwise, we will see you in Billings or in Centerview, Missouri, uh, Billings, Montana, or Centerview, Missouri on September 2nd. Most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. Uh, but I also want to add that most of the people that watch this channel actually aren't subscribers. Please take a moment and subscribe to this channel. It's free. The button's right there. And it supports the algorithm to get our word out. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns. Thank you.